once again. I greet you once again in the name of Jesus Christ, the author and the finisher of our faith. Welcome to our 10 days of prayer and fasting. And today is day number nine. And today we are going to be tackling on the issue of marriage. Issue of marriage and relationships. Wow, 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 wow. I know a lot of you, I know a lot of you are being fought that area. I know a lot of you are struggling, huh? are struggling to get a wife, are struggling to get a husband. Uh, let me quickly reread our reading of today. Genesis chapter number 2, verse number 21. And the Lord caused a, caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from a, a man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. And, the, and Adam said, This is now born of my bone and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Kabaya. May God bless the reading of his word. May God bless the reading of his word. Yes. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Somebody shouts, this is my season. This is my year. This is my time. Ah. This is your time. This is your season. Huh? It is never too late. It doesn't matter you are now sick. You are approaching sick. It doesn't matter you are 54. God can still do something new in your life. God can still perform a miracle in your life. You understand me? You understand me? It doesn't matter. It doesn't. You're complaining of relationship at 35. You are still a baby. There is a lot that can, God can do in your life. Don't worry. Just make known unto the Lord your desires. Let's cast every, 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 every obstacle. Let's cast our request unto the Lord. You understand me? I want to pray for your relationship. I want to pray for your marriage. I want to pray for your marriage. Before I do that, I just want you to quickly, want you to subscribe right now. I want you to subscribe, like, comment, leave in the comment section your prayer requests. Because I want to start to pray for you right now. I want God to release you from that shackle. I want God to release you from that marine spirit causing uh, frustration, causing disturbances, huh? destroying your, your relationships. I want to pray against that marine spirit. I want to pray against that Lavatine spirit. I want to pray for, for a sound mind so that you'll be able to reason and think well huh? in that courtship. Some of you don't even have an evil spirit. It's just that you are wired wrongly. <laughs> you are wired wrongly. You are wired wrongly. The way you, the way you, 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 the way you talk to your men, the way you talk to your men, isn't it? Huh? It's bad. They will run away from you. They will run away from you. You are a rough writer. You are not, there's nothing sweet about you. When people look at you, they see a very beautiful face, a very good curvy body. But ah, till they hear what comes out of you, oh, they will not want to be associated with you anymore. You understand me? Yes, yeah, some of you don't even have an evil spirit. But you are you are you have been wired wrongly because of associations, because of unions. Because of friendships. Who do you play with? Who is your friend? Show me your friend, I'll tell you your future. So uh, today I want to cast out that spirit. I want to wire you correctly. You've heard the reading from the word of God. Huh? God caused a deep sleep to Adam. Opened up his sideways and took out a rib. Closed the wound. Huh? It was not a wood, just he just closed the gate. <laughs> yes. 
And when Adam saw that woman, he said, Bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. Imagine if if Eve was a rough rider. Imagine if Eve could not submit. Imagine if Eve could just talk anyhow. Doesn't even mind of what words she was uttering. It was going to be chaos and drama in the Garden of Eden. <laughs> chaos and drama in the Garden of Eden. <laughs> but because Eve was wired perfectly, we never heard of any fights except for <laughs> you women. Hey! Huh? You need to sit down with yourself, you need to, to be in a conference with yourself. Ask yourself. Do a deep introspect. Check, check, check your life. Check yourself. Yes, you know one wants to marry you. Yes, you are very beautiful. Yes, you are very wealthy. You have money, you have everything that you want. But no man wants to be with you because you are wired wrongly. You don't know who is a man. To you, you are, you are, you are just equal. Who is he? Who does he think he is? <laughs> Don't run away. You understand? So I want you, I hope you have subscribed. I hope you have subscribed because I want to pray now. I want to pray now because our time is getting uh, late. Uh, you know, it's already start to getting dark. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Ekada Sata. I deliver this child, Abrahasa, from the spirit of anti-marriage. I deliver this child from the spirit of anti-marriage. May your thoughts and your brain be wired correctly. In the name of Jesus, may she be a submissive wife. In the name of Jesus Christ. I rewire her right now in the name of Jesus. I collect her. I connect her properly, Lord. I open the channel of marriage. Father, I fix that relationship in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for breakthrough. Thank you for the wedding. Thank you for the wedding. I come against that spiritual husband. I come against that spiritual wife. In the name of Jesus. You spiritual wife. I command you right now in the name of Jesus. I command you out of her body. I command you out of her body. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rabba Sakadaya. Rika Satakaya. Whatever evil, evil, evil substance injected in her system. I flush it out in the name of Jesus. Vomit it out right now in the name of Jesus. That evil substance used to monitor you, used to control you. Right now, I flush it out of your system in the name of Jesus. Be flushed out. Be flushed out in the name of Jesus. Be flushed out in the name of Jesus. Come out. I release marriages. I release weddings. I release that relationship. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak fruitfulness. I speak fruitfulness. I speak fruit of the womb. I speak fruit of the womb. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your freedom is now. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Rabba Saka Bahaya. I want you to continue worshiping God. I want you to continue loving Him. I want you to give you, you to give your life to Jesus Christ. And your life will never be the same again. And I want you to read the word of God. Make it your standard for your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Today is day number nine. Tomorrow is our final day. Day number ten. 